Okay, so you got one of these. Um, it is actually quite a fun little drone. I've had this for about a year now. Um, I got it on an Amazon special sale. I actually paid 35 bucks for it. I think they're roughly 40 now, depending on where you find them. But it is quite durable. Um, we've had this for a year, as I said. My son and I fly this thing quite often. We fly it in the house. You can see the propellers got a little damage there, but the thing flies great. Um, it's fallen out of the sky multiple times, bounced off the ground, uh, bounced off several walls in the house. Works pretty well. Uh, there's a pretty big hacker community for this thing. The first thing that we did was this. Um, this is converting the controller or the transmitter to a full 2.4 gigahertz wavelength antenna, which increases the range dramatically. Um, it goes from 35 meters to well over 100 meters. Um, I have not really run out of range in any way, shape, or form when I'm just doing normal flying. I have pushed this thing up as high as I could and completely lost it, and it fell out of the sky, and I managed to rebind on the way down. But it went so high, I basically couldn't see it anymore. I couldn't tell what was what. So this thing can really go quite far line of sight now. But we wanted to see if we could make it an FPV drone. And there are a few videos out there, but a lot of them have to do with kind of really taking this thing apart. People have really stripped the thing down and done all sorts of crazy things. I wanted to keep it kind of as original as possible. Um, so what I found was the Tiny Whoop movement and this. This is uh, from a company called Wolf Whoop. I will leave uh, links down there in the description so you can check those out. This FPV camera is a three in one. The nice thing about it that I liked is this. It's not a single unit. The VTX is separatable from the camera, which gives you a lot of layout opportunities. It's a single dipole antenna, so it's uh, still the tiny whoop style of 25 milliwatts, so it's not super powerful. But so far in our testing, we have yet to actually lose range on this thing. Um, it is really quite impressive how good this is. I was shocked. I'm not a real authority on this stuff, but I was still pretty shocked and impressed with how well it worked. Um, so this layout possibility gives me um, some flexibility inside the chassis, which we'll see in a second. The other thing is the operating range. It operates from 3.3 to 5 volts, which in theory, um, I was able to guess that this thing would actually still operate even when the thing wasn't able to fly anymore, and that happens to be true. But just in case, since this thing is a 3.7 volt battery pack in the uh, Saima, got these, which are a up. Uh... So taking this thing apart, um, how I did it, um, I actually took the blades off, which are right there, and then I actually went and wrote down. If you look on the underside of each blade, it's very difficult to see, but right there, maybe you can make it out. It's actually stamped with the motor that it matches to because some of these spin clockwise, some spin counter. So I wrote down which one went to each one on there just to make it easier to get them back on to match them with up there. Um, the other thing to note is there's a lot of screws on this. Um, so you have to take the propellers off first and then there's about 26 screws under here. So let's do that. Okay, so here's the thing taken apart. Uh, this is the top case. Um, and then there's the propellers and as you can see everything is already attached to the bottom So I wanted to keep this as much as possible to keep it clean like I said and keep without wrecking stuff um, Incidentally, these are the motors here. Um, they, these this assembly actually comes out um, There's other hacks you see you can find online where they were remove these and I think you can upgrade them to one of the larger mo models But this whole assembly comes out and then there's the gearing under the bottom. This is the prop on top uh, but this whole thing comes out, it's loose, it's attached to the bottom as well. But here is the camera, right there, installed. Um, this is the VTX back here, um, and I just used hot glue to put everything where I want it. This here is the power bit. So this is what takes the 3.7 volts up to 5 volts. That is soldered to the main right here. So you can see the, this is the switch. The power plug right here is the power goes in. The board's actually upside down. All the soldering stuff's on the other side, but the wires for the power come through. So the two pins you need are actually right here. There's the red and the black. So you can just solder that on. And then once you do that, you got your main. The way this one works, it happens to have matching plugs. So you can take this, there's the white plug right there. So that's the power from the VTX. It goes right into there quite cleanly. And then the VTX itself, you can see right here, this plug, it actually comes off as well. This is what goes to the camera. So this whole thing is quite modular and very flexible where you can put it. Um, if you have a drone that supports it, this is the OSD cable right here. 
Um, I haven't figured out how to use it. I kind of want to figure something out, but this camera does support it uh, if you have something that, that works with it. But that's all you got to do, really. You solder the power here and then just plug all the parts in and put the pieces where you want them. Um, I drilled a hole right there for the antenna. So that was pretty simple. I just hot glued that to that post right there, um, which is very easy to do because that's a, one of the screws that you have to put into the case, which is one of these guys right here. So that slides right by it. And I figured it would just provide a little extra uh, stability for this thing if it was propped up against something. So there's the hot glue right here and on that side and then around the antenna just to kind of keep it a little bit more stable there. And then I cut a hole in the case so there's the top part. I centered it first um, and then drew a line on it using exactly the knife to cut it out. So that's the top. And then the bottom right there, just kind of set it in. I, and then again, I hot glued it. And you can see there I've angled it just ever so slightly, but this camera has a really good field of view. So it doesn't need to be angled tremendously. Plus this isn't a real FPV racing quad. So it's not gonna be, you know, in the air, it's really not gonna be like this, like the FPV quads are. Um, it does, I mean, you can do that too, but still the field of view is enough that it's okay. Um, incidentally, this is the re, uh, receiver antenna right here that pairs with the transmitter. But that's it. That's all you gotta do. You put all that stuff in there. And then the other reason for putting this here is that through the battery door, which you can see right there, you can see that little tiny, in fact, if I can get this right, where my finger is, that button is how you change the settings. So to channel and band. So by putting this here, I actually kept it accessible so that when I plug it in, I can change the settings for the camera if I need to go to a different band or channel based on congestion for wherever I'm flying. And so there's proof that it's working. Um, I plugged a LiPo in here. This is the one that came with it by the, um, I'm actually not using this to fly with anymore because there's a company I found uh, via Amazon actually it's called more pilot. There's actually several of them, but this is a um, 3.7 volt 500 milliamp battery this more pilot company you get a pack of six plus a charger Which are 3.7 volt 720 milliamp batteries, so they last a significant amount of time longer um, Which is really great and especially now that I'm going to be powering this camera setup I want as much power as I can get into the thing So I just use this for testing and playing around now. I actually fly with different ones, but there is the VTX all powered up and you can see the channel and band light. That's the uh, blue and the red and that is all functioning. Okay. So making this thing work, let's actually prove that it does. Um, the goggles we have here are um, Viper F FXT Viper uh, version 2.0, which looks identical, it's just a firmware update. Um, we do have some new antennas up here that are um, gonna be on, on order. These things are really not great, but again, I'm not an expert in all this stuff, I'm just trying to make this work and have fun. So far these have worked just fine, but um, the antennas really are not that expensive to, uh, to upgrade. Uh, so we're just gonna prove that this whole thing works here um, and show you what it all looks like. So put it in here. Okay, so our battery's in, and you can see that with the glow right there, the VTX is on. So we're gonna turn this on here. Oh, I gotta put the battery in. Um, but this, these goggles are nice. Um, they're box goggles, but they work with glasses, which I do have to wear sometimes. And this thing is separatable, which is really cool. Um, so it'll auto search and remember the last thing it was. But there is our feed, let me put this down so you can see it. And if I pick up the drone, so we're gonna look at ourselves right there. There's the drone, there's that. So you can see that camera works just fine. Um, so there's your uh, proof that it all comes together and it does work. This is just the standard 5.8 gigahertz uh, FPV stuff. And we now have the Zyma with an FPV flying capability. Pretty cool, so I think we should go fly it. Okay, so this is the front of it. There's a little camera I put in there, the Wolf, it's from Wolf Whoop. Bring it down a little bit. And now you can see the camera now. So Wolf Whoop's there, and then the VTX is in the back right there. And we're using the more pilot uh, batteries, which have got a slightly higher milliamp hour rating. And so far we're getting eight minutes of flight time with the, uh, the FPV mode full completely on here. So it's, uh, really exceeding expectations at this point.